Hello, welcome to another episode of Cribble Bytes. One of the more common questions we get in support channels is how come my function isn't working the way I think it should? So, for example, I'm trying to mask data in this function. I'm going to expand raw here. I'm trying to mask the account ID field. And you'll see here it is not working. Well, why is that? The environment name field is being masked as specified here, but uh, the recipient account ID is not. The answer lies in these little tokens next to the fields. So you'll notice that raw has an A next to it. That means it's a string, whereas ENV has these braces next to it. That means it's an object. So we can, because it's an object, we can refer to the field name under ENV. It's an attribute of the ENV object, so we can reference it directly. Because raw is a string, we can only operate it, operate on it as a string. Before we can operate on it as an object and refer to the fields under it, we need to turn it into an object. So how do we do that? Uh, one way is using the parser function. We're going to be in, in mode extract. We're working on JSON object in the raw field, and we're going to overwrite raw with the results of that extraction. So we're creating a new field called raw with the object. If I enable that and save, you'll see that now raw is an object indicated by the curly braces, and now our recipient account ID is masked. You see here, uh, it's no longer the value it was before. There's another way to do it uh, without the parser function. There's a JavaScript expression, json.parse. So I'm using the eval function. You can also do this in code. Underscore raw is now equal to the parsed version of underscore raw. If I hit save on that, you're not going to see any changes here because it's doing exactly what the parser function does. So uh, long story short, always pay attention to these indicators to the left of the field so you know exactly what kind of data you're dealing with. Whether it's a number, uh, it's a JSON object, it's a JSON array would be indicated with square braces uh, or a string. I hope that helps you out. Talk to you next time. Thank you.